Hello, in this video we'll export uh, our terrain. So we reached the end, we made all the textures and now we want to export it. It's very simple, we go to the build panel here on the right and here we have all the exporting options. However, we have uh, a message that says non marked for export because before uh, building our final terrain and export it, we must choose what nodes uh, we want to export. In this case, we want to export the final shape and the final texture. So in the third graph, we go to the last node of the chain. In this case, it's the micro erosion. We right click and click on mark for export or F3 for the hotkey. And now here in the build panel, we have our micro erosion. This will be our height map or displacement map. map. Then we go to the texture, we click on the color FX node and we do the same thing, mark for export. And here we have our texture, this will be the albedo. And let's say that uh, we also want to export the mesh itself, maybe in OBJ or FBX format. To do that, we go to the micro erosion and from the output, we left click and drag when, re when release. And in the output category, we have the measure. The measure is uh, what uh, you will use to export uh, a mesh, uh, a mesh like uh, in OBJ format. Here we have the different formats, the scale and the resolution. In this case, you can choose uh, whatever format you want. I'll choose OBJ. For the scale, we have three options, normalized, one unit equals one meter and one unit equals one kilometer. I recommend using one unit equal one meter because that's what uh, all the 3D applications uh, use for uh, determining the size of an object. Normalize uh, will clamp the height of the terrain to a zero one space. That's useful if you if your um, if a software where you will render your terrain understand uh, normalization. However, I never use this. I usually use one unit equals one meter. And then we have a resolution. In my case, I will simply set a 2K resolution. And then I also enable the four squads. If you don't enable it, the terrain will be composed only of triangles. If you enable it, it will be all quads and ready for subdivision if you want it. Then we have a LOD. If you are uh, maybe exporting it for uh, uh, games, you can already export uh, four LOD and we have the different resolution as well as the vertex count. In my case, I don't care. So I want the full resolution 2K. The measure output is independent from the resolution that you will set in the build panel for your texture and displacement map. So if you set 8K for a final resolution of your terrain, but the measure is set to 2K, Gaia will export the mesh as 2K resolution. And this is it for the preparations. Now let's go to the build panel. Let's rename our maps. Now the color effects, it's our Bido. So I'll call it uh, tutorial terrain albedo. And uh, for the micro erosion, it's our displacement. So tutorial terrain height. Then we can choose a format by clicking on this icon here. And uh, now you have a quite vast choice of 
formats. I usually use OpenEXR 32-bit and yes, I want to change the format for all the nodes. As you can see now, my height and albedo are in EXR, will be exported in EXR. However, for the albedo, it's, uh, it's an overkill, so I switch to PNG 16-bit. You can also choose PNG 8-bit if you want. The format that, that I recommend are for the height map, open EXR 32-bit, at least uh, you are planning to export the height in a game engine. In this case, you should use either RAW 16-bit or PNG 16-bit that you can choose here individually. PNG 16-bit and the RAW 16-bit. For the albedo, I recommend uh, PNG 16-bit for offline rendering but if you are exporting for a game engine, PNG 8-bit. The measure, you simply give it a name, but uh, it doesn't, uh, the format is already set in the measure properties. So let's call this tutorial terrain mesh. And then we have the definition. This is the final resolution uh, which which uh, our terrain will be. Let's say that I want a 4K. You can go higher if you want. Range, row, proportional, normalize, remap. I recommend leaving it to row because it will retain the natural scale that you see here. You also have an option for tiled output. This uh, useful for game engines, for creating, uh, maybe you have uh, multiple terrains uh, and you must combine them because you are creating an open world, then you can enable tiles. You can also flip Y if uh, for some reason you need it. Additional options, resample. The resample option is for the Unreal Engine 4 and the, and the upcoming Unreal Engine 5. These are all the resolution that the Unreal Engine uses. So instead of choosing a resolution here, you choose a resolution here, for example, 4K, it becomes uh, 4033. Color space sRGB, it's okay. Mutation, mutation, a uh, randomization that Gaia will perform if you want uh, variations of your terrain. If you set uh, two mutations, Gaia will build the terrain two times to give you two variations and uh, will randomize the parameters of the nodes. And this is it. Once you've finished, you simply click Start Build and as you can see, Gaia is uh, working uh, on the exportation of our terrain. It will rebuild all the nodes, so it might take a while. And uh, that is it. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe to stay up to date with the latest videos. If you have any questions, comment below, and I'll see you in the next one. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby, let the light